Home security is a core value for many smart home owners. While home automation can be fun, I believe home security is the foundation on which we build our smart home. I mean, when you think about it, what's the point in having all the door and window sensors and the motion sensors if you're not using them to keep your family and your home safe? Today, we're gonna to talk about one very simple automation you can deploy in your smart home to keep you and your loved ones safe. What's up everyone, my name is Delin and this is Delin Tech. And this channel is all about my favorite tech and smart home tech that I use every day to make my life easier, safer, and more efficient. If technology you're building a smart home is something that you're into, consider hitting the subscribe button and stick around. If you like my content, consider hitting that bell icon so you'll get notified when I post a new video. Having audible alerts in your home can be one of many ways you can be alerted to an intruder or an emergency. Being a parent of small children, my kids now know how to unlock and open the front and back doors all by themselves. This can be very dangerous and honestly scary as a parent to walk into the room that you left them in and not see or hear them anywhere. In fact, many security companies have an audible sound built into their system for when a door opens so you're always aware the door is opening and you know what's going on. But having 24-7 monitoring from a security company can be very expensive, and many smart homeowners have gone the route that they've gone to save that money. So today, I'm going to show you two ways that you can build an audible alert system into your smart home for when a door opens. Alright, so for the first automation, we're going to use only Acara devices and the Acara app. What you'll need for this automation is an Acara hub with a speaker, like the M1S or the M2, or even one of their camera hubs like the G2H or the G3. Additionally, you will need a door tag for each entry door that you want to automate. I'm using the Akari M1S hub for my automation and I have three entry doors, so I have three door tags from Akara. And of course, you will need the Akara app. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna open my Akara app. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do in the Akara app is click scene and you're gonna to wanna to create a scene. This scene is just gonna make it a little bit easier so you can add the sound effect to each different automation. So we're going to go to hub M1S, play assigned ringtone, and you can pick any of these sound effects. Uh, you can do the doorbell sound. I really like the arming sound. You can set your volume, turn it down a little bit so it's not super loud. And OK. So we're going to save this scene. I'm going to call this door alert and just pick an icon, doesn't matter. All right, now I'm gonna go to my automations. I'm gonna create a new automation, select my if statement. Now for every entry door, you're gonna to need to create a separate automation. So we're gonna start with our front door open. So now if my front door opens, then I'm gonna to go to my scenes and choose door alert. I could set an acting time here if I wanted to uh, make sure it's not happening at certain times, but we're gonna leave this as it is for now. All right, we're gonna name it, okay. And just like that, we have an automation that will make a sound on our hub if the front door opens. All right, and there you go, it worked perfectly. As soon as that door opens, you get that audible alert on the M1S. So that is perfect. Now I'm a bit of an early bird and my wife is not. So I wanna take this a step further. I don't want that audible alert going off if she's still in bed in the morning and I decide to go out for a run or a walk. So I'm gonna go back into my automation and I'm gonna add another statement. Now I have a FP2 present sensor in the bedroom set with a zone for the bed. So I'm going to choose absence zone bed, okay? And then I'm gonna make sure it says all conditions are met. Now if the front door opens and there's no one in the bed, it will run my automation. But if there is someone in the bed, it will not run it. So that's perfect. So that will save that as is. And that's just an extra step that if you have the FP2 sensor, you can add that in there and uh, you won't disturb your partner if they're still sleeping. So 
That's perfect. So now I would go through and create that same automation for every single door. All right, and for the second automation, we're gonna set it up using Alexa. Now this one gives you a few more options for how you wanna be alerted, and the echoes can even tell you which door has been opened. So for this one, you'll obviously need an Alexa enabled device that can make any announcements and a few door and window sensors like we used before. Again, I'm using the Acara door and window sensors on all of my entry doors. You will need to enable Acara for Alexa. And to do this, head to your Acara app, profile, smart speaker, choose Amazon Alexa and click bind to the Amazon account. From there, it'll take you to the Alexa app, click link and you should be all set. All right, so let's go ahead and set up the second automation. We're gonna open our Alexa app. We're gonna go to more, routines. We're gonna create a new routine. We're gonna skip the name and I'm gonna say when this happens, smart home. And I've changed all of the names to all my contact sensors in my Alexa app already. So I have a car front door sensor here. We want that when it opens, next. We can change the acting acting time for this. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and say 8 a.m. and ending at 8 p.m. And we can, down here, we can say only, like wait this long before you do it again. Um, let's say, let's go ahead and say two minutes in case anyone's running out and coming back in or vice versa. All right, we'll go to next and add action. Now we have a couple of options here with the Alexa app. We can either have one device say whatever phrase we want by saying Alexa says, or we can have it make an announcement to all devices. Some pros and cons here. Uh, with Alexa says, you can only choose one device, meaning you have to make an automation for each device that you want to have it announce on. Um, and then with announcement, the con is it makes a little ding dong sound before it actually makes the announcement. I'm gonna go ahead and choose announcement for this one and you can enter the announce message. So let's say front door. Next, all devices, hit next. And now it says Alexa will announce front door on all devices. All right, so let's hit save and let's go test this out. Front door. All right, and there you have it. As you heard, Alexa announced front door on all my devices. And so that is all set, it is that simple. The cool thing about this is if I set one up for back door, it would say back door. If I set one up for garage door, it would say garage door. So if you have multiple Alexa devices, you can use that automation, or you can choose to go with a car and they have an all inclusive option for you as well. So, and just like that, you now have an auto alert whenever any of your doors open and you can even know which door has been opened. With home security being one of my favorite topics in smart home automation, I do plan to do a lot of other videos around this topic. So what are some topics or questions that you would want to see covered on this channel? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you know when those are posted. Hey, if you're interested in how I'm using other Acara sensors, check out this video. And if you want to see my full smart home tour, make sure to click on this video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.